What to do, everybody? A um, couple kicks for you all. All right, here is my favorite, um, Kairi One. This is the Australian pair. I felt it was only right to get these since I'm over here in Australia. Um, very comfy shoe, my favorite. I love the Kairi Ones and the Kairi Twos. These here, these right here, the Venice Beaches Kobe 8s. These are some of my favorite Kobe's. Uh, I only just got these like a couple weeks ago. I've been trying to find them for ages. I got the uh, Kobe 11s EVs, I believe. So I got these in Oklahoma. I wanted to get a pair of shoes because it's obviously it was my second time being to the States and the longest time I've been in the States. So I thought I wanted some shoes to, you know, just kind of remind me of the trip that we went with the Sixes. These are here are the new LeBrons. Uh, my mom brought these over for me from the state. I think this is LeBron's first low top shoe, so not sure if this is his last shoe or not, but I um, was glad I can cop a pair of these. They're real comfy. Shoes, man, I just, I love shoes. I try to wear a different pair often. You can express yourself. One of my um, favorite rappers passed last month, and I was, you know, just wrote in remembrance of him, rest in peace to him. His name was Takeoff, and um, just small things as an athlete. Uh, you can just show your own personality or style as well. So, man, it's a small detail, but it goes a long way for a basketball player, in my opinion. These here are the Kobe 11 Red Horses. Uh, I wore these in the game we played against Phoenix, wore them against my favorite player. I've got quite a few pairs of Kobe's. I like to collect them, like, it's a way to sort of be stylish on the court as well. They look good, feel good, play good. Yeah, so these are the KD7 Arm Pearls. I got these when I first saw Katie, who is now my favorite player. And I've got about 10 pairs of these that I've worn through my life. I keep these ones I haven't worn, so I just keep these in the box. Just a reminder of when I first saw KD play. I don't really match. I think you don't have to match now in 2020, 20, 2022. Who cares if you match or not? <laughs> but uh, I try to like wear a loud color with white and wear dark with dark. But uh, for the most part, it's just whatever I'm feeling comfortable in. If I have a good game in these, I probably try to keep wearing them for a little bit. I'm kind of superstitious a little bit. These are the about 20. So these I go after the Phoenix game. I had these on my mind as soon as we went to America because I assumed they weren't going to get released in Australia. So it was just kind of perfect timing that we were in the States. Well, I sort of, I just rotate between all of them. So it lasts, lasts me a long time. Like, like I wore the Grin Grinches in Perth and I only bring those out every now and then because they're like pretty special. They're like, one of the most sought after Kobe's, I feel like. They're one of my favorites as well. I try to usually match my shoe color to the uniform. If not, I'll try alternate a little bit, but it usually depends on the uniform that we're wearing. I put comfort over the swag, but if I'm comfortable, nine times out of 10, the shoe's gonna be swag anyway.